Welcome guys. In this video, we will be looking at how to find derivative of a function in MATLAB. After watching this video, you will learn how to use MATLAB to 1. Represent polynomials, 2. Find differentiation, and 3. Use the symbolic function. Before we started the video if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our latest video. Make sure to watch the video until the end. So, without wasting any further time. Let us start the video. Let's take a question. In this question, we have to find the derivative of the function at x equals 2. We will solve this question with two different approaches. 1. Polynomial approach. 2. Symbolic function. First, we represent the polynomial. MATLAB represents polynomials as row vectors containing coefficients ordered by descending powers. So, the polynomial would be represented by the vector 1, 2, minus 4, 3. MATLAB has a function polyder, which will find the derivative of a polynomial. The derivative of the polynomial is a vector 3, 4, minus 4. To find the derivative of a polynomial at a specific point, we will use polyval function. The syntax for this function is very simple. Write polyval, then enter polynomial, followed by comma, and value of a point. So, the answer to this question is 16. Now, we will use the symbolic function. The symbolic function uses symbols rather than numbers to solve equations. To define the symbols in MATLAB, we use the sims command. After defining the symbols, we write the symbolic function f in terms of independent variable x. When we use symbolic function, we cannot use polydir function since it is used for polynomial equations. So, we will use diff function to calculate the derivative of a symbolic function. To find derivative at a particular point, we have to convert the symbolic function to polynomial. For this conversion, the sym2 poly command is used. After that, we use the polyval function to calculate derivative at x equals 2. This is how you can find the derivative to function. That's all I got for this video. In the next video, I will show integration in MATLAB. If this video helps you, hit the like button and share this video with others. See you guys in the next video.